everybody, here we are again, and it's time to review the Father Hooks Best Bitter by Festival, the Festival Beer Kits. Uh, so we'll just have a quick look at it. So, crystal clear. A nice amber colour. It's got a bit of a cap on top. It's only a covering really. It was like a fingers deep but it's holding along the edge. So yeah it smells like beer. Right let's get straight in there. It's very nice. As you can see, holding lacing well at the top. Very nice. I'll just put it there a second. Right, so I brewed it. I did a, a video cleaning these sacks out. A video, uh, yeah, I brewed it on the 29th, 29th, 25th of the 9th, 2020. Dry hopped it. 29th of the 9th and barreled it on 2nd of the 10th. The original gravity was 1044, final gravity 1016. So it's come out, I think it should have, I think it was supposed to be 4%, but it's come out about 3.8. Nothing wrong with that. So as you can see, nice beer, I'm getting, it's, there's a good bittering, it's still, I've still got the bittering going, and it's a, a grapefruit, a grapefruity bittering, so the hops were, it was a mixed bag of Bramling Cross and Cascade. 50 grams, I don't know what the proportion was, but I would say the, no, no it wasn't Cascade, it was Columbus, yeah, yeah, Columbus, not Cascade, so I'm assuming that the grapefruity is coming from the Columbus because I didn't, I brewed with Bramling Cross recently. I think I did a video. Of course I did a video. Um, it was the, yes, the Leyland Homebrew Tribute beer. Digressing. This is the Father Hooks. This is just a kit beer. Very good. It's more expensive doing the kits than it is doing an old grain. These festival kits tend to be around about the £24 mark, 25 I have seen them as low as 22 I think. But I haven't seen them any, any lower than that. Very nice though. There's a malt backbone to it. The malts are being overpowered by the hops, but I would say there's definitely crystal malt in there, probably wildly inaccurate, um, but it has that sort of mildly toffee sort of flavour. Very nice, got to contemplate that. As you can see, it is only, I'm not, I'm not going to swirl it too much. It is only holding a barely a cap, but it's off the barrel, it's room temperature, it's never going to hold a decent head. Because it's not 
overly pressurised. Well, it's not. It's, it's just naturally carbonated. So it's a nice beer. There are some berry notes. What sort of berry is it? Ribena, blackcurrant. Yeah, so it's um, there's a, a blackcurrant notes to it. A subtle sort of light Ribena flavour comes in after the um, grapefruit that's up front, which is the main the main bittering, the main flavouring is the grapefruit. But yeah, about there, you get that Ribena blackcurrant flavour and then it, that dies off and you're, and you're back into just you breathe in and it's like that grapefruit tartness on your tongue very nice beer as I say about £24 for a kit of those which does 40 pints comes out around about around about 4% Normally, the, the kits are normally pretty good, pretty accurate, but I tend to use a, a different yeast. I reuse my SO4 yeast, uh, but yeah, they normally come in, I would normally expect it to drop another two points, which would bring it in to 4, 4.2, something like that. But, very nice beer. Um, a little bit on the grapefruit side for me, a little bit too much, but yeah, you can drink that. Very drinkable, very, very nice. Right, that's it, I won't keep you any longer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.